Hey, what's up everybody? It's Sunday, it's Reed, and this week I'm going to be looking back on 2016 and telling you the things that I want for myself in 2017. This lighting is not, it's just not gonna work for me. So we're gonna go somewhere else, how about that? Um, okay, this is good, except I don't have a, oh, look at this, got a shelf. Hold on a minute here, excellent. Okay, so um, I gotta be honest with you guys, 2016 was like the biggest shitstorm of a year I ever could have had. I feel like universally, like across the board, everybody I talked to, 2016 was just the fucking worst, which is like kind of weird um, if you think about it, because like how many times is like collectively just the world of a shitty year? But anyway, I wanted to be candid with you guys about some things that I've been going through this year that I haven't really talked about uh, publicly, just so you guys know, like I'm a human and things happen to me and I am struggling with things. So yeah, I started the year like pretty hopeful that it was gonna be a good year. I hadn't done anything to set myself up for that. In fact, I had set myself up for failure and I didn't really realize that and I'll get to that in a second. Like two weeks into 2016, my car was repossessed which means that I wasn't making the payments and the loan company or the leasing company took it back. Basically, they came at night and took my car and this is not gonna end well. I can just, I can tell. Hey, Bubba. Say hello. Oh, there she is. I'm cat sitting. There are four cats here, so. They're gonna be in and out, probably. But yeah, so um, they came at night and they took my car and I had to talk with them over the next month or so about my options of getting it back or whatever and I ended up not being able to afford to get it back. So I didn't have a car for the first seven months of the year. So I was commuting to and from work, which is taking two plus hours each way. That sucked and I was just kicking myself and so down on myself for like letting that happen because that was 100% my fault. And the thing about being an adult is when you have like debt and um, when you borrow money from people, whether it's for a car or a credit card or anything, they come after you to pay it back. So I was really, really reckless with money in 2015 and in 2014. This past year was when it all caught up to me. Three of my um, credit card accounts went to collections. So I had debt collectors calling me. I still have debt collectors calling me. I pretty much just got slapped in the face with adulthood this year and it was a big wake-up call for me and it's been really really hard to not remain down on myself and beat myself up about these things because you know every time something new happened I was already so depressed and anxious and I was just like why would you let yourself do this and why would you let it get this bad I don't know what they're playing with right now but it doesn't sound good it was a bottle cap. So yeah, basically the whole year was like a struggle with myself, trying to like keep my mood like above, I don't know, like really, really depressed. That was like a, a big part of my year was like trying to get back on track with money and trying to repair my credit score, which I'm still trying to do. And um, I eventually got um, a car again. So things have been looking up. Um, but the real thing is, is that in 2015, I did nothing to prepare myself for a good year. And in fact, I some myself up for like ultimate failure without even knowing it but that's what I want to do looking forward to 2017 so I don't know if you've seen this but there's a documentary on Netflix right now called The Minimalists and it is like the best documentary I mean it's not the best ever but it really had an impact on me which I think is the point of documentaries and it did a really great job of making its point doing its job so basically the documentary is about like living with um, intent and purpose and these guys were like in their mid-20s which I am and like severely in debt working at a corporate job which I'm doing and I, I feel like a sellout and you know etc etc and they started like living as minimalists and like giving their life meaning basically my goal for going into 2017 is to buy things or own things that either have a purpose or bring me joy and I feel like a lot of my problems with money are about that in the moment gratification that I'm depressed and when I buy something it makes me happy and then a year down the road and it doesn't even take that long but if you look back on if I look back on the things that I bought a year ago I don't even use many of them you know and I just buy them to make myself feel better and that's not the right reason to buy things so going forward that's gonna be like my thing is like do I need this is it going to serve a purpose honestly because sometimes I tell myself it will and like I'm I know it won't or is it gonna bring me joy do I need 20 of the same shirt that I only wear three of you know what I mean like my friggin t-shirts 
Anyway, man, that's a st story for another time. So basically, I don't really have like concrete goals for 2017, except for like to keep repairing my credit score and try to pay off all my credit card debt. I made a budget and I'm due to like pay it all off by like late 2018. So that's not a goal for this year, but like I'm gonna keep on track and not miss payments to, to get me toward that goal. But yeah, basically my goal is like to live a purposeful life. And I think that that's gonna bring me a lot of joy um, and a lot of happiness. And that is what I want for next year. I want a better life and I want to feel like I'm living a life that I am proud of. Yeah, that's that's pretty much that's my 2016 to 2017 shift that is going to be happening. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I will see you all next week. And if you guys want to see any more videos of mine on my personal channel, I will leave the link in the description. Bye.